to another video. Today we're at the jetties. I'm with my boy Drake, he's over there. And today it's real low tide. Like, I mean, it's super low tide. There's dolphins everywhere, which is definitely not ideal. But there's mullet, and they're all out there because they cannot push on the jetty. Let me show you how low tide there is. I mean, I mean we got sand, sand pipers eating right there. All this algae right here is where the water line's supposed to be. I mean, you can literally fish the first shelf and throw down for sheep's head and reds and trout. So our prime target today is sheep's head, reds, and trout. Drake's throwing the bait in right now, and it's gonna immediately strip. So it's not pig perch. It might be smaller sheep's head. It could be like little little reds. We don't know, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it and try to capitalize on this trip. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. We're almost there, guys. Thank you so much. And like that video, guys. I'll see you in the video. Got the first sheeper of the day. Here, I got you. Oh, dude, that's nice. That's like 17. Here, just lift him up in this, this bowl. He's in. Got him. Yeah, I got him. Yo, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one, doggy. Keep. Let's go. Keeper, sheeper. Keeper, <laughs> There's one, Drake. Yeah. Jeez, bro. Oh, that's no, it's a sheep's head, bro. That's a big one, then. Yeah, I got a net. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I'm up. Oh, oh, that's a real good one. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a keeper. That's a keeper sheeper. Him up a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to get him away from the rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing a good job. Oh, that's a that's a 20. That's 20. Oh, if I can if I can try. Oh, oh there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, baby. Let's go. Awesome. Good one, that's keeper. Alright guys, there's the first cheaper for me for the day. Drake caught one. I hooked into a nice one but lost him. But there he is. He's measured at 16 and a half guys, almost 17 inches. A beautiful sheep's head. A little criminal fish. And I'll show you what we're using in a second, but this is what we're catching them on, and they're hammering us every single cast. It's a little early for a sheep's head, but if you got the right rig and got the right size shrimp and bait, then you can catch them year round, guys. Fiddler, fiddler crabs are the best for summer, but right now they're more focused on those uh, softer kind of crustaceans, so that's the first sheep's head of the day, guys. All right, guys, so I made a diagram of the jetty. The jetty has tons of big granite rocks on it, and it has them in three different layers right here with the fourth layer just being tons of little tiny circular rocks that corals grow on and oysters grow on and stuff like that. That's why you get stuck all the time. So here we got our sheep's head. This line right here, it represents high tide. This is the tide. Most of the time, usually when you go to the jetties, odds are you're fishing in between the tides. And then this is for extremely low tide. When it's extremely low tide, guys, all the fish, they stack up here on the bottom. And all you have to do is cast around maybe 15 yards off the jetty when it's in between tides you want to fish this third shelf all these sheep that are going here eating all these barnacles off and when you go underwater you can actually hear all the sheep that are crushing the barnacles you can hear all the pigfish grunting underwater it's, it's really cool and if really during really high tide in the summer days you can actually see the sheep that feeding off the rocks and you cast the shrimp at them you cast a shrimp at them and they won't bite it because they're more focused on all the algae and all the other Oh, there are other hard crustaceans out there in summer but once the water cools down the, the fish are slower they want that more of a soft crustacean so they hit shrimp all the time and right now they're actually starting to hit shrimp i bet you in about four weeks three or maybe, maybe even three weeks depending on the weather after this video they will be stacked up on the jetty and you can go and catch your limit and you can go back home and have yourself a good fish fry so this is the setup right here i took a little other video this is this is basically what it looks like we have a half ounce weight. You can put a sinker, you can put a little drop shot weight, anything. So you want to, what you want is a weight under eight inches to a foot under your J hook. And usually you want a size two J hook. If you get a size one J hook, the pygmy perch will mess you up. You'll catch tons of pygmy perch and you'll even catch the big pygmy perch on the size two. So you don't want to go under a size two because then you'll just mess it up. When it comes to circle hook, you want to get one. But circle hooks aren't really good for sheep's head because when it comes to those teeth, you're not going to hook the teeth. You're going to hook the side of the mouth, of course, it's a circle hook. But if you want a J hook, you'll hook the teeth, the side of the mouth, and behind the teeth. 
So a J-hook really works way better. Or a shank hook, same thing. And so that's what you want to do, guys. Just cast 15 yards off the jetty. You don't need to cast way far there. All the sheep says food. All the sheep said they sleep in these rocks. They hide in these jetty rocks. They live inside the jetty, guys. So you don't want to cast off too far, but you want to cast off right where this third shelf ends. I hope this helped y'all, guys. If you go out there, you can follow me on Fish Brain. All the stuff will be linked below my Instagram, my Fish Brain. You can tell me. You can ask me questions, guys. What my setups are, how I catch, how I catch my fish, and so I hope this helped. Back to the video, guys. That's that's what the hell. It's like a mangrove or some. The way it's fighting. Oh, she said. Oh, you fell off the Oh, I had something on. Oh, here, get the net, dog. Uh, is that keeper? Yeah. Keeper. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> no. Watch out the lines. There we go. Live. It's a dark one, bro. Yeah. All right, guys. There is the third sheeper of the day. Nice little sheeper. I didn't even know he was on there. I thought it was a mangrove because he fought so heavy, but he didn't take any drag, which is weird because my drag's super loose. But uh, yeah, it's the third little sheeper of the day. Hopefully, we can catch more. We only got like 10 shrimp left, so hopefully, we can capitalize on that. But look at those mean spikes on there. Nice little cheaper right there. Oh, oh. that's a good one. Good night. Good night, I got you. I got you. Keep it out. There yeah. you go, dog. I think that, that maybe keeps. <laughs> maybe. No doubt. I don't it. think so. I think he's short. I think he's like 13, 14. Check him, but... Oh, nice one. Thank you. No mercy. Oh, I got, I got a good fish, dude. Drake, good ass fish. I don't think it's a sheep's head. Like a red? I think so. Or it's like a 25 inch sheep's head. Oh, that's a, that's a good fish. That's a oh, that's a... Yeah. You keeping him? Yeah. No, nah, probably not. At least you want him. Nah, I'm good. Dude, he scream drag. He was, I heard it. Strong guy, dude. All right, guys, there is the sixth cheaper of the day between Drake and I. Strong fighter, you heard, you heard on the GoPro, he was peeling drag. It was literally insane. I'm not gonna keep this guy, he's 14 and a half, believe it or not, when he peeled that drag. And he's a beautiful looking fish. It's a mangrove, bro. Yeah. You gonna keep that or not? Probably. Look how good this one is. Yeah, do. First little mangy. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning into the video. I did do an outro out the jetty, but I was using an old GoPro battery and it didn't work. So I'm going to trash that battery and order some more. But thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you learned something new about the jetty, about sheep's head rigs, about catching sheep's head, and go catch you some sheep's head, guys. If you want to follow me on Fish Brain, the link is in the description. If you want to add me on Instagram, guys, the link will be in the description or I'll tell you my username. You can DM me saying if you went to the jetty and the rig did work, then that's good. I'm glad I want to see people catch fish. I love when people catch more fish. Go have yourself a fish fry. Go bake it, half shell it, whatever you do, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.